Hi guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. One of my favorite things about this software is how many awesome workflow tricks there are to make your life easier. And here's three that you might not know of yet. So here we go. The first command I have for you guys today is called duplicate and insert. Most of you are going to be familiar with duplicate. That's one of the most famous Studio One keyboard shortcuts where you can just press D on one or multiple selected parts and they would always be copied sort of adjacent to each other. But there's also duplicate and insert, which is depending on your playhead cursor position. And that can be incredibly useful as well. So to demonstrate this and to make this a little bit easier to understand, let me just color these two parts here a bit differently, maybe brown, so we can really see the difference. And if I use the regular duplicate, you can see that now I'm just copying these events over what's already there, right? But what I can do instead with duplicate and insert is to first insert some time, like some empty space, and then duplicate this stuff. All right. See, I already messed this up. So it's great that I have a keyboard shortcut to do this in just one step for me. And that is Option ND on a Mac or Alt ND on Windows. So once again, I'm going to change the color to brown here. And now I'm going to use duplicate and insert and see first it inserted the amount of time necessary and then the events also works on multiple selections, as I said before, and is an incredibly useful thing to know. The next command is called split at grid. And there's so many applications where this is useful. It's not assigned to any keyboard shortcut by default, but I would highly recommend you to do so. You can always change your keyboard shortcuts by going to Studio One, Keyboard Shortcuts, Search for split at grid in this case. And now you can just assign any or multiple keyboard shortcuts of your choice. Once you've assigned your key, you hit assign and apply and OK. And then you can use this in a number of also very creative ways. How does it work? Well, it slices your selection based on the currently set grid setting. So if I have 116 set and I select my percussion here and I go to right click events, split at grid. I'm going to use the hotkey that I just said previously. Now you can see I'm getting slices of 16th parts here. And that is very, very useful because as opposed to other DAWs that I know, you can draw fades for multiple parts at once. And then you can build shakers from your percussions. So for example, it sounded like this before. And with this little trick, right click, split at grid, I can now make a shaker out of this. I could also go for a bit more of a creative grid, maybe triolic. So go ahead and set quantize to maybe one eighth triolic. Once again, split that grid. Now it's being cut to that grid accordingly. So you can see there's a number of ways that you could use this. The third and final command for today is called create ranges on tracks. And I have shown that before in a separate video, but it's definitely worth showing it again, because this is a fantastic way to automate one or multiple tracks at once. And uh, it's just great. Let me show you. So for example, I have these two kick parts here. Uh, colored in teal. And let's say that only in this range where I have these two kick parts, I'd like the entirety of my drums to be automated in volume, make them a little bit louder. That's where this keyboard shortcut really comes to shine. So first, let me select my bus that I've casually <laughs> assigned to a folder track here, right click to add an automation for the volume. And now I'm going to select these two kick events here and press create ranges on tracks, which is shift and R by default. And now I can go ahead to this automation lane here. And notice that in the top half of this track, there's this bracket tool coming up. And if I now drag, you can see how I'm adjusting the automation for both of these ranges at once. Isn't that cool? Alternatively, you can also use the range tool right here. Just select the range tool in the toolbar and then make your selection. And what's great about this is that this even works on multiple automations at once. So let's say that in this particular section, I want to change both the volume of my drums as well as for my bass. Just drag the range across and now you can see the bracket tool is affecting both automations 
this one and this one at once. So I hope you learned something new today. Let me know in the comments if this format is helpful to you and we'll add a couple more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching.